Hello everybody, it's me Tracy. I'm not here with another DIY just to show y'all a variety of other divas that I've done. I try to keep up with them and, and make them for my pop-up shops because they sell very fast. So this is one of the ones I did in my tutorial, which I really like. So I just want to, you know, explain it a little bit. This is just a, some flowers from Dollar Tree. This mat came from Walmart. Just add little gems on it to make it look nice. You know the um canvas board and some bling in it some little gems on it some little flowers on the neck that's all i did so and y'all seem to very like it so that's one of them then this is the other one that i did and i, I this is the first one i did and i did this with the with the real hat it's got it all smashed up inside my basket that i keep it in so this one I try to do with a real hat, you know, it still looks nice, but I decided to use the placemat instead because the real hat was a little bit puffy. But the scenario is basically still the same. I can't pack my stuff in the in those bags because it looks like it's making it fall apart, so I'm gonna fix it. But so that's that's another one, and I you now I try to do it different every time. So I like to say, thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for finding my channel. Thanks for all the people that signed up for the Facebook group. You know, y'all welcome to message me. Y'all need to message me. Facebook message me for the pictures after you subscribe. You know, join the group. You know, hit me up and let me know if you have any extra questions that I can always answer. You know, I am free sometime. I do work at night. So I just wanted to share. So this yellow one that I did, I found these feathers at my Dollar Plus store. I thought it was very nice. It came in a whole roll or a whole bunch of flowers. So the scenario is still the same. You got the you got the frame. I add some bling to it. And this is this is the bath sponge. The sponge that you use to wash up with. It comes in rolls. It comes like this. So when I get it like this, I I just take it and go inside and I just cut it out. Cut the string out and then I restring it with some string that I use over there. Some of that string, I'll restring it with that and, and loosen it up by, you know, because it's real tight when you buy it like this. But that's another one of the divas. I just add a little flower in here. I don't know if it's stuck in there or not, probably not. But I might change it and put a blue flower in the middle of this yellow one so it'll make it pop a little bit more. And the flowers, the flowers make it look real cute. And I like the feathers. You know, it gives it a whole, a whole different look. And then I did the lady in pink. Now, isn't she pretty? And yes, all these flowers come from the Dollar Tree. The sponge, I get them from some of the dollar stores have them, Walmart have them. You can get them pretty much anywhere. And this this here is chunky cardstock. It's a chunky cardstock. You can get it from several places. I ordered this from, from Amazon. It comes in a pack with a lot of different ones. So I'm going to do, look how pretty this one is. So I'm going to be using this one soon. I like the color, so I think I want to do a diva with this color here. They got some nice color. This is chunky, chunky cardstock that you can use to put on the hat. And then I found this placement. Tell me, this not nice, y'all. This gonna be nice as a diva hat when I finish with it. I don't know what color I want to add on it, but this is a neutral color. And you probably can add any color you want. I got a yellow one downstairs. These things, I got them all from Walmart. I think it was a dollar, dollar fifty cent or so from Walmart. And you see, this is the other half of that one that I cut. So in the way, and then I got two blue ones left over here. So chunky cardstock. You can. Cut two pictures out 
when I do I took two pictures and then I use one as a template because I'm only using a five by eleven pictures anyway, so we can cut two. And I have the I'm using I'm using an eagle tank to do my my pictures, and that's a uh, what's the number of that. 2750 and my ink is filled I only filled it like one time I try to I'm gonna buy some new ink and put some more in there so those are the divas some of them and then I did her now she's pretty these sunflowers I got them from the Dollar Tree and I put some down here and I didn't add a whole lot of extra I used some some ribbon some ribbon string. I think that's over here. Some of this gold string that I use to put around the edges because I didn't want it to have too much going on with this one that I did. And I got a pop-up show coming up soon. So they're gonna go really fast. And then I just, you know, just add a little bit of leaves in there. You know, she's a, she's pretty. And they got that car, chunky cardstock again. And just add some different colors to her to make her pop and I gave her some matted lipstick and my and my signature is always giving them an earring in their nose. I got one in my nose so I always make sure I give my girls their earrings. So then we got the lady in purple. So this effect is is just a bunching effect. You just bunch it up, bunch it up, bunch it up, bunch it up and scrunch it all together and, and basically just put it where you want. That's all. And I had all these in the bag, but they look like I'm, a, I'm not going to put them back in the bag. A big giant bag to keep up with them all. But isn't she pretty? She's pretty. Look at her lips. I need to fix her. Go over her lips some more to blend it in better. And then I use some pearls for here. And then I use purple down along the side. And then I did her. Because I don't deal with the mesh but so much. But I did the mesh anyway. You know, let me do something different. So I did some mesh and got some orange down here. And then I just put some gold on the trimming and whatnot. You know, just doing something. Trying to do something different. They all look pretty to me. And every time I take mine to the pop-up shop, they go really fast. So they buy them up. Fast as I put them up on that stand, they buy them. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take some hot glue because you see she coming apart. So I'm gonna add some more glue on here. Take this little nipple off back here to make sure her flower stands. Because I don't want her flower coming apart because I'm, I'm a little bit of a affection, so I wouldn't even sell this to nobody like that. So I'm gonna Turn my hot glue gun on and I'm gonna get my hot glue ready. Come on, so I'm gonna be plugged in. Let me get that ready. But I want to say thank you for y'all joining the Facebook group. You know, thanks for sharing your beautiful stuff. Just like I learned, y'all learning from me, I'm learning from y'all too, because y'all stuff is really on point. Everybody's stuff is really on point. But this one is hot. I'm going to do the pink one, just like that one, without the hat, because I still got some leftover pink flowers. Yeah. So when I do a tutorial on one, I just try to pick something and I do something new. I really love her. Like, she, she really popping. This pink is really popping. Y'all tell me this pink ain't popping. This pink is really nice. And it looked like she got a nice little hat on her head. Not so much like a hair type of thing, but just a hat. One of them sponge bath things. Now she, I'm going to have to take the yellow one out. Don't know about taking the yellow out. I'm going to take that out and put a blue flower in there. To make it pop a little bit more because she got yellow and yellow. But she's still cute. And I'm going to do a whole bunch more of these hat ones because everybody liked them. And then I, I actually found some some church some of the church um hats they look like church hats they put them in the head with the little feathers and things on it they got the veil on them for their faces and stuff 
So I'm gonna be buying some of those from the Dollar Plus store. And that's what I'm gonna be doing next. So I just wanted to come on here and share, you know, other the other divas so that y'all can see that there's a variety of them. And make sure y'all show me your beautiful work. Make sure y'all hit me up. Join the group, it's crafting together as one. Y'all have any questions? You know, just hit me up. I'm available. Text me first before you call, because I do work at night and I be sleep. But I will always make sure I call you back and try to answer your questions. All right, y'all. Bye.